up on the ceiling above your head. On the left and right, see those yellow strips? Well, those are emergency strips. If you have a medical emergency, just get a hold. Of, uh, just press one of those. That will let me know up here in the cab. Now, on our right side, folks, look out ahead of us here. And if you're facing back as far as your left side, we have two brown, almost black spots in the shade of the tree on the left side of the exhibit. Our two two sisters that live out here. <coughs> And uh, they were born here along with their other two sisters. We breed cheetahs because they are in danger in the wild due to poaching and habitat loss. And we've had 135 cheetahs born to park since we opened. We have one of the world's most successful cheetah breeding programs. And most of our cheetah breeding, actually all of it, takes place a few miles east of here. We have an off-exhibit breeding area, which is very quiet compared to the public parts of the park. The cheetahs absolutely need that for breeding purposes. Now, on our left side, you're facing backwards. To your right side, we have some tan animals out there with a black stripe on their side. There's one right across uh, on the far side of the little pond there, more out farther out. And they are a favorite prey of cheetahs in southern and uh, eastern Africa. Those are Thompson's and Grant's gazelles. One of the gazelles at the feeder trough there in the middle of the canyon. And some more gazelles out there on the grass. Against the goo. Hi, against the goo. And in gazelles, males have long horns to show off the females. Like their sports cars, females have short horns. They don't need to show off to the male boy at all. First, however, now on our right side of the animals, it's very hard to tell the difference between the males and females. Uh, big white birds here on the left side of the lake. These are greater flamingos from Africa. 